Hi guys. Hi. Hey Brennan. Hey. So we are back at Disney Springs for a very particular reason tonight. And what is that, Brennan? It's our five year anniversary. Five years. Can you believe that? And it all started here at Disney Springs. Our first date was at Disney Quest over five years ago. But five years today, July 13th is when we started dating. So we're here to celebrate it by hopefully eating somewhere that we've never eaten at before. Also, I got a haircut. <laughs> Finally. Right? <laughs> so our first stop tonight at Disney Springs before we decided on a place to eat is gonna be over in Guest Relations to take care of some ticketing issues for some plans that we have coming up hopefully in the next couple weeks. Guest Relations is kinda wedged in between Deluxe Burger, back over there is Blaze Pizza, T-Rex Cafe is Back over on this side, I think we have to go around the building. I think this is just the exit right now to help with the guest flow, but hopefully we figure out our ticket situation. All right, so we just got out of guest relations and we sort of figured out our situation, which I'll talk about again in just a little bit. <laughs> but are we gonna go to dinner at the Boathouse, Brennan? I think we should try it. I think we should because it's our anniversary and it's someplace we have never been before. And it's someplace that we've definitely talked about going. So let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> That's where we just were right over there that's homecoming that was also a place that we heavily considered going and here's the other side of the springs over by sprinkles don't really often show this that much but this really is a beautiful part of uh disney springs is the springs who would have guessed that <laughs> brennan <laughs> we might still go to homecoming and honestly depends. tonight well, we're it, gonna go to boathouse and homecoming it depends on like what the wait for boathouse is Oh, that's true. Okay, there's Boathouse. This is Wine Bar George, which we've gone there once before, I believe, for... Wasn't it lunch? Yeah, it was when they introduced their lunch menu. It was really good. Here's Pivoli Il Gelato. That's where we got our gelato. That's where Brennan got our gelato last time. <laughs> and here we go, checking out the Boathouse. So we were sat immediately outside, which is <laughs> awesome. We have an incredible view behind us of all of Disney Springs. There's the balloon right over there. And we are checking out the menu. They have a lot of seafood here. Couldn't have guessed that. Oh wow, we are just perusing everything that they have on the menu here, but it looks fantastic. They have steaks and sandwiches, and then just, again, a lot of seafood. So there's the Amphicar going by in the background, but Brennan, you got a martini, didn't you? I did, I got a lemon drop martini, and it came with this great rock candy. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm checking out the, uh, the menu myself, in case I wanna grab a drink, but I think we did decide on what we're gonna get. Brennan's gonna get two entrees. She's getting this lobster bisque, and then this firecracker shrimp, and then I am getting a main style lobster roll. I'm getting two appetizers. I'm not, I'm not getting two entrees. Splurge, baby, I love ya. <laughs> I'm also enjoying this bread, which is really so good. sweet and delicious. So Brennan's lobster bisque just arrived. Ooh. This nice. looks Ryan. really good. I'm trying to remember the last time that I had lobster bisque. I think it was at the France Pavilion at Epcot. This is great. <laughs> Super good? Oh yes. You get the dockside bar right behind you. There's another amphi amphicar going by way over there in the distance. So our food finally came. We got some more bread because it was just that good, but I got this firecracker shrimp. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm really excited. You got a lobster roll. Look at this lobster roll. It looks phenomenal. Wow. This is not what you get at a uh, 70s food festival or Epcot, oh my God. is it? You need wow. to like push some of that in. I don't know, I kind of <laughs> wanted to just explode in lobster. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try it because I, I, I don't want that to be just a terrible mess, but I'll let you know how it is. Mm. It looks good. <laughs> so we are all done with dinner and we got a to-go box here for Brennan's shrimp and then the rest of the rolls. They brought us some more rolls, but also I have another lobster roll. This is my <laughs> second lobster roll because I accidentally dropped a little lobster and then the manager brought me out a brand new full lobster roll that I cannot eat because I ate the entirety of the first one except for the piece that I dropped on the ground. Like that they, is incredible. They did not have to do that. I know, right? <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is where we sat right over there on the dock right outside the boathouse, which is a very interesting indoor portion as well. It's actually a very big restaurant that I never really acknowledged before. I think that's even more seating way over there. Mm -hmm. Next to those boats, they have the dockside bar right over here. And then this is the water. There's the balloon way up there in the sky. 
And this is where they do the Amphicar launches right over here, which they did a few of those when we were eating, but it's hard to tell when they're gonna do it, so I missed it every time, but it's okay because we've seen it plenty of times. Brennan has our little to-go right there, which ended up being a lot of food. That was an incredible meal. Ugh. I wish I could have eaten more, but it was just so filling. But I'm so happy that we're taking it home. I know, right? <laughs> so we walked over to the extra seating area over How here. How cool would it have been to like sit over here? Right? Right by the water? Wow, this is absolutely beautiful. And right now it feels phenomenal. I feel like we shouldn't be over here, but there are no... I don't know any, any ropes or anything indicating that we should not be over here. Well, see, now I'm wondering if this actually is an additional seating area or if this is just where they're storing additional tables right now. But I don't know, probably, right? It didn't seem like there was like a lack of tables over here at the main restaurant portion. I don't know. Still, super, super cool. Just getting to walk past all these boats at the boathouse. Who would have imagined? All right, so I am inside. Right behind Brennan is the gift shop. You ready to head on out, Brennan? Awesome, I'll go and follow you. This is like the main portion of the restaurant, it seems like the check-in. We are heading out. There's a bar right over here. And then outside to the right is where you can hop in into an Amphicar. We gotta do that one day too. Jump in an Amphicar. I tell you what, Brennan, I completely understand the hype around Boathouse now. It's a beautiful restaurant. It Especially really is. You get to sit outside. And if you like seafood, it is phenomenal. It's great. Oh, <laughs> man, I'm, I'm just, I'm so happy we went Good. there. It's a little bit expensive, yeah. but it's worth it. 100%, especially during sunset. Wow. Okay, we just took a cool picture here in front of this wall, and where are you going? Where do you want to go? I don't know. Oh, uh, you want to go this way? Sure. Let's, let's go, go to World of Disney. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. All right, made it over to World of Disney. We have to go along this side here to enter in into World of Disney, but it doesn't look like there's a wait right now, which is good because that has occasionally been happening, I'm pretty sure. So we tried to check out their inventory for t-shirts because they actually have a lot of really cool new t-shirts, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got distracted by the dogs. <laughs> oh, the dogs? We're still looking for your wallet, which is not on Shop Disney, with all the dogs on it. But these pants are pretty popping. Look at them. So many Disney dogs. Aww. Well, I don't know. I guess we're going to go head on out, maybe grab some dessert. Maybe. maybe to bring home with us. I'm not sure. I'm stuffed. The patisserie is right over there. They always have really good stuff. Amaretts? What are that? Yeah, Amaretts. Oh, so we are gonna go to Amaretz, which is right outside, right over there. I think we have to exit out this way. And then we may go to the style store as well, just to kind of see if they have anything new or exciting. That's where we entered into the world of Disney, and there's Amaretz. Don't go in here that often because they have desserts. They're a little bit more expensive, but they are good. And we're inside Amaretz. And what Brennan and I got, I got this key lime tart right over here. And then Brennan got this chocolate rose. This is gonna be good. And that was super quick because we were pretty much the only people in there. And check it out. So that is Brennan's chocolate rose. It's the Amaretz rose. So it's like a red velvet cake with raspberry. And dark chocolate mousse, I'm pretty positive. Yes. And then that is my key lime tart, mm -hmm. which looks like it comes with a little raspberry it on there. It looks like it has the tiniest macaron in it. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> well, that is going to be good. We're going to have that a little bit later, but yeah. you can pretty much guess that it's going to be phenomenal. And they gave us a pretty little bag here for it, too. We're heading back over to the other side of Disney Springs to pop into the Style Store. The lanterns are on now, now that it's dusk here at Disney Springs. This is really the time to come here. Right as the sun sets, right? Mm -hmm. Awesome, let's go. There's the boathouse way down there. Jock Lindsay's is back open after being closed for just a little bit. We are gonna make one more stop too, and that is gonna be over by House of Blues, right, Brennan? Yeah. So we're gonna go to the style store first, but then we're gonna swing around behind House of Blues because that is where Brennan and I had our first smooch. <laughs> I just want to celebrate. I doubt the style store has anything particularly new, but they might. We'll see. I don't know. I just like popping in here because they have the trendiest stuff. They really know their Disney style, don't they? Just 
people have face shields, but the design is a stormtrooper mask. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. So it seems like pretty much everything that's here was here last time. But like I said, it's just a pleasant store to uh, walk in and check out from time to time. Wow, they have a lot of interesting stuff over here, that's for sure. It's pretty quiet right now. I kind of like it. And we're outside the Disney style store. There's the Aerofile balloon and we are heading all the way down this pathway all the way down to house of blues there goes the balloon that is something we have not yet done here at disney springs but hopefully at some point in the future there's boathouse way over there illuminated on the water there's saratoga springs right across from us and again we're heading all the way down pretty much straight across from where disney quest would have been which is now the nba experience <laughs> oh boy if only CityWorks was open, we could have had our anniversary there. Is it open? Is it open? I don't know, but we've always wanted to eat a boathouse. Yeah. So that would have been my first choice. <laughs> and here we are all the way down behind House of Blues on the other side of what would have been Disney Quest years ago. Yeah. It's a pretty nice view, isn't it? I'm surprised we've never stayed at Saratoga Springs. Maybe at some points. Which that actually leads me into what I wanted to talk about from the very beginning of this video. Oh. So we had to go to guest relations at the beginning of this video because we had some pass problems which we thought were due to the system itself because right now it's a little bit confusing in terms of making a park pass reservation to go to the parks because there are three, you can't really even see, but there are three tiers of park pass reservations. There are theme park guests, Disney resort guests, and annual pass holders. and it, Brennan and I made a reservation to stay at a resort in a couple weeks, which we're probably gonna have to postpone. Yeah. Because we went to guest relations and realized that I tried to sync up the reservation to her, her pass, her annual pass, but she's blocked out right now for the next, I think just a couple weeks. So we were that close to being in the clear for our reservation and our park pass reservation system. And it was a bunch of coordination of getting all these different passes that both of us have together to do this reservation to get a reservation to go to the parks because if you're just a pass holder no parks are available pretty much until the end of august yeah but if you have just a single day ticket or if you have a resort a reservation then there are more spots available it's very confusing to be totally honest i get why they're doing what they're doing but it's kind of complicated to, to coordinate those plans together hopefully they'll loosen it up a little bit hopefully so i imagine so i've seen a lot of pictures of the parks and they are very very quiet but essentially, long story short, she's blocked out. So we're probably gonna have to change our initial reservation plans, but we're still probably going to commit to what we wanted to do, which I think I will keep that a secret for now until they happen, just Yee. so I don't jinx it. <laughs> Check out that sunset right now. It is just beautiful. It makes me sad that we're not consistently in the parks as much as we absolutely would be right now, but so this is one of the nice things about, you know, Florida summers. Our like rainy, humidity filled days always lead to like the best sunsets. They really do. They got our masks back on because there are people around now, but there was not a single soul a second ago. So we're connecting back to the main thoroughfare of Disney Springs thanks to this construction and Haleo. Our Splitsville, which I don't believe is open right now. And then the NBA experience I don't think is either. So I stand corrected, it looks like Splitsville is open right now. This is where the M&M's store is gonna go. And then it, I can't tell the CityWorks is open. Hmm, yes, CityWorks is open, which is awesome. Right on there in Cirque du Soleil, which the feature of that is pretty unknown. Normally we'd be able to go this way to get back into the Orange Garage, but I'm pretty positive with the temperature checks we probably won't be able to, so we're gonna have to turn around and go all the way down to get back to our car. <laughs> but it was nice walking around, that was bright. I mean, we can go in right over by the movie theater. You think? Yeah. Yes, we can. We can totally go back to the garage this way. That's awesome. This wasn't accessible for quite a while. They do have a lot of rocks. Well, that's just new and different. And yeah, people are definitely in there bowling. I'm cool. I was wondering if it was just going to be the restaurant or the bowling as well, and it looks like both. So that's good to know. You can totally get into Disney Springs back over here. It was probably due to that construction that you saw the, the gravel. Maybe yeah. they redid the uh, the ground over there. We definitely couldn't before, but it's back open now. All right, so we're back down the stairs, heading to the car. That was a super 
successful trip to Disney Springs. We went to the boathouse. Finally, it was phenomenal. Get a free lobster roll. What in the world? That, <laughs> that was really made my special. day, made my week probably. <laughs> Got some Amaretz chocolate in here, which we're gonna enjoy when we get back home. Yeah. It was a good trip. This and even got to reminisce about our first uh, first date together. Yeah, I mean, this is our anniversary day, but you know, because we're we're trying to be safe and not do things for too long, we might do, you know, little things here and there over the next few weeks to celebrate our anniversary. I think so. It's that five sounds kind of fun. Years. It's a big deal. Speaking of big deals, I have one more thing to end the video on and this is something that is it's very uh, it's exciting for me without a doubt but I surpassed 10,000 subscribers on this channel which I couldn't have imagined would happen as a person who just goes to the theme parks and just vlogs his experience about it it's very humbling and it's just it's it's something that I appreciate so much and if you're watching you're following along you're having a good time then I sincerely appreciate that I do want to do something special to celebrate it, I can't do anything particularly extraordinary, like go to every single park and ride every single ride. It's a little bit complicated to do that. <laughs> Something that I was planning to do for kind of a while is to do a live stream. I've never done a live stream and I think it'd be kind of fun. Yeah. So if you like that idea, let me know and I will try to try to do that. It sounds like that could be a lot of fun. Maybe I'll tag along, we'll make yeah. it just like a double. It's his channel and his thing, but maybe I'll just kind of be there. I don't know. It'll be fun. If you want to do that, then then let's do it, right? <laughs> but for now, we'll see you soon. Have a good day and Bye. goodbye.